Okay. So, so far, what, what about little bit theories are there for resonance, we have seen it. Now, we will take a simple example, right. So, this is a simple uh, series RLC circuit. This is R L is given and this is 320 picofarad. And if you want instantaneous polarity, you can take plus minus and this voltage is 0 0.85 volt, right. So, this is simple R L C circuit, what you have to do it. So, it is written in next. So, this is example 1 that you have to determine the value of L for your what you call for resonance if Q is equal to 50, right. And F 0 is equal to 175 kilohertz. Also, find the circuit current the voltage across the capacitor and the bandwidth of the circuit, right. So, this is the problem, this is the circuit, this is the circuit and this is what you have to determine, everything is given here, right. So, first thing is we know that resonance frequency F 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over L c. So, F 0 is given 175 kilohertz, so it is 175 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over your what you call C is given 320 pico farad, 320 into the power minus 12 into L from which you will get L is equal to 2.58 milli Henry, right. Now, we know that X L is equal to L omega. So, L we have got it 2.58 into 10 to the power minus 3, right, it is in Henry into your 2 pi into F 0 is equal to 175 into 10 to the power 3 hard, right. So, that means X L is equal to L omega this much of ohm. So, it is 2840 ohm. Right. So, quality factor Q is equal to omega 0 L upon R, right. So, omega 0 uh, your A your what you call this omega 0 that means R is equal to omega 0 L upon Q, right. So, here uh, uh, your uh, you just uh, substitute all substitute your uh, all these values. So, you will get your R is equal to 56 point your 8 ohm, right. So, this way actually your L L you have got that is your 2.58 milli Henry and your uh, a, a here a, your F 0 is given this one right 2 pi F 0 one thing is there one one uh, correction is here uh, here it is your omega 0. So, omega 0 is equal to 2 pi F 0 right I think one 2 pi is missing right just check this answer I think this answer is correct perhaps I missed this one it will be omega 0 right. So, so Q is equal to your 50 Q is equal to 50 is given r is equal to omega 0 L upon this thing, this you please check it right, hope this is correct. So, next this one r you have got, then the impedance of the circuit of the resonance is that at, at the resonance x l is equal to x c, so z is equal to r, so it is 56.8 ohm. So, i 0 is equal to v upon r, so v is given 0.85 volt divided by r, so 14.96 milli ampere right. So, and also v c is equal to I 0 upon omega 0 C. So, this this means it is R I 0 by, by numerator and denominator you multiply by R, R I 0 upon omega 0 C R. So, that means V C is equal to Q V, right. So, that means if you if you your what you call, we know that your uh, R I 0 is equal to your what you call R I 0 is equal to V and omega 0 C R that is 1 upon omega 0 C R is equal to Q. So, it will be Q into V, right. Therefore, voltage across the capacitor will be 50 into 0.85, V is 0.85 volt and Q is 50, so 42.5 volt and bandwidth is omega 2 minus omega 1 or it is radian per second or F 2 minus F 1 in hertz, right. So, Q we know we have derived this Q is equal to omega 0 uh, by omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to you can write F 0 upon F 2 minus F 1 is equal to F 0 by bandwidth. Therefore, bandwidth is equal to F 0 by Q. When you take in terms of F 0, it is in hard. So, 175 into 10 to the power 3 divided by Q is equal to 50. So, 3.5 say kilo hard, right. So, bandwidth. Now, example 2. So, this is a simple example, right. Only thing is that this uh, this your what you call here, here I told you just see it is omega 0 actually 2 pi into F 0. I might have missed 2 pi. Just check the answer, right. Uh, whether it is uh, 2 pi is taken care of not, right. So, it is getting 56.8 just check. So, this one your next is for the circuit shown in figure that R 1 is equal to, I will show you the circuit, R 1 is given 0.5 ohm, R 2 1.5 ohm and R 3 is equal to 0.0 ohm, C 1 6 microfarad and C 2 12 microfarad, L 1 25 milli handy and L 2 15 milli handy. So, determine the frequency of the resonance that is first one, second one Q of the whole circuit and 3 Q of coil 1 and Q of coil 2 individually. 
So, this is my series circuit, this is resistance is given 0.5 ohm, this is coil 1, its resistance is 0.5 ohm, inductance is 25 milli handy. These two capacitors are there in series 6 microfarad and 12 microfarad, right. And this is the coil 2, resistance is 1.5 ohm and inductance is 15 milli handy. This is the problem. So, now, now question is the impedance of the circuit. So, L this uh, they are 25 milli handy and 15 milli handy. find out the total E or what you call L. So, it is 25 plus 15 means 40 milli handy, right. And these two capacitors are in series means it is equivalent to the way you obtain the resistance in parallel. So, it will be 6 into 12 by 6 plus 12, right. So, this will be 4 microfarad. So, C is equal to 6 into 12 upon 6 plus 12 which is equal to 4 microfarad. And then R your what you call then we know that F0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over L C. So, it is 1 upon 2 pi L we got 40 milli handy. So, 14 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 the capacitor for 4 microfarad. So, this actually will get F0 is equal to 10 to the power 4 by 8 i your 8 pi hard or omega 0 is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 radian per second either in hard or in radian per second right. So, now Q of the whole circuit it will be L omega 0 upon R right. So, L we have got your what you call that oh, your uh, this thing omega your uh, this is your L 40 into 10 to the minus 3 whole circuit this is correct 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 uh, 10 to the power 3 radian per second is equal to actually this will become 40 is equal to 40. So, this is not there right this is my class note. So, all corrections made actually same thing I have scanned it here for you right. So, this is 40 right. So, this is correct they have therefore, this is not to this thing this is actually 40 it is written here character it is 40 right. So, Q of the whole circuit is 40 right. So, let me clear it. So, then then this one that Q of coil 1 it is L 1 omega 0 upon R 1 for the coil omega 0 is 2.5 in 10 to the power your what you call this uh, omega 0 is equal to 2.5 in 10 to the power 3 radian uh, this thing your what you call it is radian per second it is given here omega 0 and L 1 is equal to your this one L 1 here L 1 is equal to actually this one 25 milli handy right. So, here your here this one it will be your uh, let me correct it it will be your L 1 is equal to 25 not 2.5 right. Uh, so, uh, so, in this case this answer is not 12.5 it will be actually 125. Uh, right. So, just just check just check it let me let me make it it is half right. So, it is 25. So, this is this is cancel right and this is 2 means 5. So, answer will be 125 right. So, this is not 12.5 because it is 25 really handy by mistake I took it, but this is my class node everything is corrected actually right. So, similarly L 2 omega 0 L 2 is 15 milli handy and your that is 15 10 by minus 3 and it is omega 2.5 in 10 to the power 3 upon R 2 is equal to 1.5 right if you calculate it right. So, just uh, just if you calculate it it will be 25. So, please check all this by little bit of calculation all this thing you please do it of your own right see that all calculations are correct. So, bandwidth is we know we have done this bandwidth is equal to F 0 upon Q right. So, your what you call you substitute or you substitute your all this thing F 0 is equal to we have got it 10 to the power 4 upon 8 pi hertz. So, here it is 10 to the power 4 upon 8 pi and Q is equal to whatever you have got right Q is equal to your uh, over, overall thing is 40 this Q you got is 40 right it is 40. So, it is corrected here it is 40 right. So, if you do it approximately it will become 10 hertz right. So, this is the bandwidth this is not 125 huh? this is 40 because we got it this is 40. So, this will be approximately 10 hertz. So, this is one. So, another one is example 3 a coil having a 5 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 50 micro uh, farad capacitor. The circuit resonates at a 100 hertz that means your F 0 is equal to 100 hertz. So, A determine the inductance of the coil B if the circuit is connected across a 200 volt 100 hertz source determine the power delivered to the coil and now C the last one uh, say th last but one voltage across the capacitor and the coil uh, voltage of the capacitor and the coil and D is the bandwidth of the circuit. This is the thing you have to find it out. When you read this uh, video lecture, first you note it down right, then you solve the problem. So, the, and you are what you call, so circuit you can do of your own, circuit is not done, it is very simple thing right. 
So, at resonance omega 0 is equal to 1 upon root over L c that we know. So, 2 pi f 0 is equal to 1 upon root over L c. So, f 0 is given 100 hertz and c is given 50 micro farad. So, 50 into 10 by minus 6 farad and it is L. So, L will be become 50. If you say it is a it will be 50 milli handy. Now, the current at resonance will be V upon R because x L is equal to x is a. So, the current is maximum. So, 200 by 5. So, current is 40 ampere. Right. Now, power dissipated is I square R. So, 40 square into 5. So, 8000 watt is equal to 8 kilowatt. Right. So, voltage across capacitor, voltage across the capacitor is the magnitude I x C. Right. So, I is 40 ampere and x C is equal to 1 upon omega C. C is equal to 50 micro farad. So, 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad into 2 pi into 100. So, it comes around 8000 by 2 pi volt, right. Approximately, this is this is your 1273.2 volt. This is this is not this thing, this is the correct one. 1273.2 volt, right. So, the impedance of the coil R plus J L omega. So, it is 5 plus J L is 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 pi into 100, right. So, it is 5 plus J 31.4 ohm. So, V L is equal to I into your Z. So, which is 40 is the current we have got into this Z we will get its magnitude is 12 uh, your 1256 volt. We have taken its magnitude only that the your what you call this angle is angle is not written here right. So, our, our interest is magnitude only. So, this one actually it will be multiplied by 40 just take it right then root over 5 square plus 31.4 square whatever it comes just take it will be 1256 volt right only magnitude written here this is actually uh, if I make it I should make it bar the magnitude is taken here 1256 volt right. So, now Q of the coil will be equal to th your what you call it will be 31.4 by 5 right because it is x L is 31.4 right and R is 5 so it is 6.3. Right, it is it is basically your what you call the Q zero of the coil. So it is XL, XL is basically is L omega by R. So L omega is actually thirty one point four divided by R is five, so six point three. And bandwidth is equal to F zero upon Q zero, so hundred upon six point three is equal to sixteen hertz. Right. So this is the simple thing. Now example four. A series circuit with R is equal to fifty ohm, L is equal to given zero point zero five Hendy, C is twenty microfarad. So, and has an applied voltage V is equal to 100 angle 0 volt with a variable frequency. Frequency is a variable here. Find the maximum voltage across the inductor as the frequency is varied. You have to find out the maximum voltage right across the inductor as the frequency is varied. Now, now Z is equal to root over R square plus A L omega minus 1 upon omega C square that is X L minus X C square. Therefore, current I is equal to magnitude V upon magnitude of the current root over R square plus L omega minus omega C square full square right. So, magnitude of the voltage across L is V L will be I into L omega we want to the magnitude. So, that means X L is actually it is I into X L. So, X L is equal to L omega. So, it will be omega L V upon root over R square plus L omega minus omega C full square. So, setting the derivative d V L upon d omega 0 you take the derivative of this equation 1 with respect to omega right. So, and what you call and set it to 0 and solve for omega you will obtain the value of omega when V L is maximum right. So, so that means d V L upon d omega is equal to this one it is simplified and written to the power minus half you please do a little bit of your own I mean what is there this uh, your x L minus L omega whole square it is expanded right and and put uh, it is square root there. So, it is to the power minus half right because it is V your v omega L V upon root over this one. So, it is to the minus 1 upon half then you take the derivative. If you derivative and simplify you will get R square minus 2L upon C plus 2 upon omega square C square is equal to 0 you will get it. That means, omega is equal to 1 upon root over L C into root over 2 upon 2 minus R square C upon L right. But we know we have derived it that Q 0 is equal to omega 0 L upon R that we have done is equal to we know 1 upon omega 0 C R that also we have done and if you and also we have if you multiply Q 0 into Q 0 you will get Q 0 square is equal to 1 upon R square C this also we have derived this also we have derived that means this term is R C that means if this if the reciprocal of this one R square C upon L is equal to 1 upon Q 0 square. 
so here you put 2 minus it will be 1 upon q 0 square right this all these things previously derived so that means by omega will be is equal to after upon substitution 1 upon root over l c 2 q 0 square upon 2 q 0 square minus 1 so the equation 5 shows that for a high q the maximum voltage your across l occurs at your this omega 0 approximately 1 upon root over l c q is very high if q is very high then 2 q 0 square right your what you call minus 1 approximately 2 q 0 square right. So, this one after q 0 is very high. So, this term will become unity. So, in that case it will be omega upon uh, your sorry 1 upon root over L c. So, that is your approximate value 1 upon root over L c. Now, if q is high maximum voltage are also obtained across r and c at omega 0 that is a resonance frequency right. So, with low q V c maximum occurs below omega 0 and V l maximum occurs above omega 0. This is a small exercise to you. We look at the expression and for with low q V c maximum occurs below omega 0 and V l maximum occurs above omega 0. This is an exercise small exercise for you right. Already we have done it for resonance. Now, from equation 2. So, omega is equal to we can simplify I root over 2 upon 2 L c minus r square c square that means from this equation that is from your from this equation from this equation only this is equation 2 from equation 2 you can write like this. So, you can write like this. So, uh, c r l all values are given you substitute all these values if everything is given you will get omega is equal to 1440 radian per second this is the answer right when you take d v l upon d omega is equal to 0 this is the answer right for which voltage across the inductor will be maximum right. So, so, x l is equal to l omega 70.7 ohm, x 0 is equal to x c is equal to 1 upon omega c 35.4 ohm. Please calculate all these things and z will be then r plus j your x l minus x c. So, whatever it comes it is 61.2 angle 35.3 degree ohm right. Therefore, i is equal to v by z the magnitude that is 100 angle 61.2. So, 1.635 ampere right. So, this all these things you please calculate direct directly I have substituted after getting omega right. So, it just makes this calculation. Therefore, V L max will be I into your x l that is your what you call that is your 70.7 right. So, you will get 115.5 volt. This example is very interesting one right. So, this is the V L max. Now, example 5 in this case this parallel circuit is there this is an inductive circuit. So, 8 plus j 6 ohm and this is your capacitive circuit 8.34 ohm, but this C is varying, x c is varying. You have to find C which results in a resonance. So, in omega 0 is equal to 5000 radian per second, right. So, in this case, this problem is very simple. It is omega 0 is given. So, it is a parallel circuit. So, y is equal to 1 upon 8 plus j 6 plus 1 upon 8.34 minus j x c, right. So, this is the y. So, now you just uh, your what you call this one you multiply numerator and denominator by 8 minus j 6 here also numerator and denominator you multiply by 8.34 plus j x c then you simplify you will get this is the real part and this is the imaginary part and at resonance this imaginary part will be 0 right. Therefore, if this stuff, this part is 0 then x c upon 69.5 plus x square minus 6 upon 100 is equal to 0. If you solve it right you will get the two values of x c one is not feasible. So, uh, x c is equal to 8.35 ohm that is equal to 1 upon omega 0 c. Right. So, you, if you solve now that your what you call the omega 0 is given 5000 radian per second it is given suppose c is equal to you will get 24 micro farad right this is the answer. Now, next one is determine your determine R l and R c for this circuit R l and R c which causes the circuit to be resonant at all frequencies right all frequencies means that you are we have derived no that uh, your what you call 1 upon root over L c into multiplied by some factor. No, if I recall now I am not going that hope I will write correctly. If I recall correctly correct that it is root over L c say omega is equal to then the factor that your R L square minus L by c divided by R c square minus L by c something like this. If R L square is equal to R c square right is equal to L by c so, it actually resonant all the frequency because this uh, square root term it will become actually 
0 by 0 undefined. So, it will the circuit will resonance will happen at all in all frequencies, right. For general, you have to find out what is the RLNR based on this condition. The answer is not given here, I did not intentionally I did not write the answer. So, please do it. When you will do it, you let us know the answer, we will I will tell you the correct answer or put the put the thing in the forum, right. So, with this, with this your resonance part is over. So, uh, some uh, some uh, typical example we have seen. After that, very simple thing it is that is the maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuit we have seen. So, for AC circuit also very simple it is we will see the maximum power transfer theorem. Uh, concept is from the DC we have already studied. So, AC only we will see little bit. So, this is the maximum power transfer theorem for AC circuit. Now, there are two three cases three cases. So, case 1 load right the variable resistance is RL. Suppose, this is my voltage source VG is given for a circuit plus minus polarity is mass current flowing through this is I and this is Z G is equal to say R G plus J G impedance is given and this R L is variable right. In the case of DC circuit it was a DC supply and this was also your what you call that is your R thevenin and this was V thevenin in the case of your DC circuit. So, here also suppose this is given and then what will be the value of R L for the maximum power transfer theorem right. So, if you see the current magnitude I will be equal to V G upon assuming that angle is 0, V G angle 0, right. If you I mean there should not be any confusion anywhere, right. This will be V G angle 0 degree, but we are taking the magnitude. So, current is I is equal to V G upon this, this this is the series impedance, impedance together. So, R G plus R L plus J X D, right. So, this is my current magnitude. Now, now your what you call therefore, uh, the, the your this one just hold on this is actually given in phasor this is actually then you put angle 0 degree because V g I told you angle 0 degree this is not phasor because we have put j. So, it is it is phasor quantity not magnitude. Now, when you take the magnitude you take that absolute right it is V g upon root over R g plus R l square plus H g square right. So, this is the magnitude therefore, power actually across R l power loss across R l is magnitude I square into R l. So, this square means V g square into R L by R g plus R L square plus H g square right. Now, for maximum power transfer theorem d p upon d R L is equal to 0 right. If you solve if you make it 0 you will get R L square you will get R g square plus H g square that means R L is equal to root over R g square plus H g square and that is equal to magnitude of Z g because Z g Z g was given R g plus J x g. So, its magnitude Z g is equal to root over uh, it is capital R root over R g square plus it is, it is also capital X it is also capital X capital X g square right. So, that is why R L is equal to root over your uh, sorry magnitude of Z g right and for like your if X g is equal to 0 like your DC uh, maximum power theorem, transfer theorem. So, naturally R is equal to your R g there we do the V thibnin R thibnin in that case it was R L is equal to R thibnin for DC circuit here also similar thing. So, this is actually for that means that means for this circuit you have to keep it in mind for this kind of circuit R L will be your root over R G square plus X square that is mod G right, but never be never be R L is equal to R G right it will be root over mod G root over R G square it is mod G root over R G square plus X square R L is equal to right. So, this is your R L. So, now case 2 then in this case that is impedance Z L with variable resistance and variable reactance. So, here also here also or what you call this is also my V G angle 0 angle is not shown here polarity is shown here and this is suppose Z G is equal to R G plus J X G right. It is something like your V thibnin and Z thibnin say this is the current I and this Z L is variable both R L and X L are variable right. So, that is why that that is that is that is the given here impedance Z L with variable resistance and variable reactor both are variable. So, so we have to find out the value of your what you call that your what you call the impedance right. So, now current I is equal to V G upon then you add R G plus R L plus J X G plus X L like your series circuit whatever you do. So, this is my this thing. So, magnitude of the current I uh, your what you call here here one where one uh, this thing is there this this should not be there right. So, it is V that it is V g upon uh, your what you call and here if you want you can put this one 
this is the angle 0. So, uh, so magnitude of i is equal to v g upon root over r g square plus r l square plus x g plus x l square right. Now, p is equal to your i square r l is equal to v g square r l divided by r g plus r l square plus x g plus x l square. So, this is equation 1 right. So, let me, so this is not a, this is a, well uh, I, here I um, corrected it, here I forgot. So, this is not there v g upon this one right, it is understandable to you. So, now if R L in equation 1, this equation is held fixed. Suppose R L we are fixing it, say R L is held fixed. The value of P is maximum when X G is equal to minus X L. So, if you set X G is equal to minus X L, that means X G plus X L is equal to 0. So, this term will vanish, therefore, power will be maximum if R L is held fixed, right. So, the, in that case, the value of uh, the p is maximum because x g minus x x x g is equal to minus x l means x g plus x g plus x l is equal to zero. I mean, this term will not be there. So in that case, it will be v square upon r l by r g plus r l square if r l is held fixed. So that means equation one will become your v g square upon uh, v g square into r l upon r g plus r l square. This is equation two, right? Now if you ask consider now r l to be variable, right? Like the way you did in this circuit. R L to be variable as shown in case 1 the maximum power is delivered to the load when R L will be is equal to R G. There also is said for the first case that X G is equal to 0 then R L is equal to R G. In that case you are what you call that an X L is equal that will therefore the maximum power is delivered to the load when R L is equal to R G. If R L is equal to R G and X L is equal to say minus X G then Z L is equal to R L plus J X L here in the circuit that z l is equal to r l plus j x l and here you put x l is equal to minus x g for maximum power transfer theorem. So, here if you put that x l is equal to your what you call minus x g then z l is equal to r g minus j x g that means, z l is equal to z g conjugate because z g z g actually is equal to your r g plus j x g therefore, z g conjugate is equal to r g minus j x g. Right. So, that is why for maximum power transfer theorem when both R L and X your X L your both are your what you call variable uh, then then that this is the condition for maximum power transfer trans maximum power transfer that Z L is equal to Z G conjugate right. Another one is the case 3 in this case in this case your Z L is there but X L is fixed uh, but R L is variable this is the case 3. So, in that case you please do it, in that case you will directly you add this one you will get R g plus j x g plus x l. So, in that case what will happen R l will become absolute z g plus j x l. So, R l will be R g plus j x g x l this you can do yourself therefore, my R l will be equal to maximum power transfer theorem it will be R g square plus x g plus uh, it is capital is taken does not matter this one is uh, this, so this is this is for maximum power transfer theorem state forward we are writing like this right this you add this thing and this thing you add right so it will be r g plus j uh, x g plus x l right so these three cases are there right so in the now with this thing we will take three few or few simple examples three four examples suppose in the circuit of figure one that is this is figure one i'll show you the load Z L consists of a pure resistance R L. Find the value of R L for which the source delivers maximum, uh, pi, it will be maximum power right, power is missing. So, maximum power to the load determine the value of the uh, maximum power P also right. So, let me clear it. So, this is the circuit is given, this is 10 J 20 ohm and this is Z L is given R L that means, it is basically simple R L right and this is the source 50 angle 0 volt. So, we know R L is equal to j mod Z G. So, it will be mod 10 plus J 20. So, root over 10 square plus 20 square. So, 22.4 ohm it will come. Therefore, I is equal to V G upon your uh, your what you call uh, Z G plus R L. So, Z G is 10 plus J 20 and R L we got 22.4. So, it will be 1.31 angle minus 31.7 degree ampere. Right and therefore, P is equal to I square R. So, 1.31 square into R L is equal to 22.4. So, it is 38.5 watt which is a very, very, very simple problem, very simple problem right. 
similarly example uh, similarly ex uh, example 2 in this case repeat example 1 with j del is equal to r plus j x l r l and x l are both variable i mean you repeat this example while j del is equal to your r l plus j x l is added and all data remain same all data remain same right so in this case your what you can do is that uh, to your total impedance your we know that for this well r l and x l both are variable so my z g was 10 plus j 20 uh, your j 20 therefore j del is equal to z g conjugate that will be 10 minus j 20 right this we have uh, seen in our theory therefore total impedance will be z g plus z del z g is 10 plus j 20 and z del will be 10 minus j 20 so minus j 20 plus j 20 cancel it will be 20 ohm therefore i will be equal to 50 angle 0 by z t that is 20 only so it will be 2.5 angle 0 degree ampere and p is equal to i square into r so that is my i square is 25 square and this is 10 so it will be uh, that is r l 10 ohm so it will be 62.5 watt so only this condition if we just keep it in mind then everything will find simple right so in uh, now another thing is in the circuit shown in figure uh, this 2 this is figure 2 right the resistance r g is variable that means this resistance r g is variable between 2 and 55 ohm that means r g actually that means uh, if you write like this that means uh, your uh, just uh, that means your uh, rg is lying in between this 2 and 55 ohm right then what value of rg results in maximum power transfer across the terminal ab this is my terminal a and this is my b and this is my rg is variable rl is 10 ohm and this is my j your xg is j 5 ohm right so in this case your what you call voltage is given 10 angle 0 in the network shown in figure 3 the load connected across terminal a b consists of a variable resistance r l right the e r l and a your what you call and a capacitive reactants x c right. Uh, so, in that your what you call and a, a which is variable between two uh, sorry this one uh, just one minute this one actually you uh, this problem uh, sorry this problem actually I have not solved you have to find it out this is you find it out right this problem actually you find it out this is not solved here right so this is this is an exercise for you this will solve it right so now next problem is example answer is not given here answer is not given here so this is for you actually you will solve it I have not solved it here actually solve but I did not put it here you solve it now example 4 in the network shown in figure 3 suppose the load connected across terminal a b consists of a variable resistance r l and a capacitive uh, reactance x c I will show you which is a variable between 2 ohm and 8 ohm determine the values of the r l and x c which result in maximum power transfer you have calculate the maximum power p delivered to the load this is the problem you are what you call written here right and this is the circuit this is voltage 50 angle 45 degree this is 3 ohm this is minus j x c variable and this is r l x c and r l variable and this is your 2 ohm and j 10 ohm these are fixed these two are variable and this is the point a and this is the point b and this is the circuit now question is that what is first we have to find out the v thibnin v thibnin means that you have we have solved dc circuit so v thibnin means first you remove this one suppose it is not there first you remove it so as soon as you remove it then you find out what is the current i right so the current i i am writing here current i is equal to your 50 angle 45 degree divided by this is 3 plus 2 plus j 10 right this is the current i right because this is not there because we are removing it because we want to uh, get the thibnin one so this is the current i so once you get the current so this is open circuit i am not drawing a circuit again so this is my v a b this is my v thibnin then because this is open this is open this is nothing is there so this is a this is b so it is v a b is equal to v thibnin this is my current this is my current i into this is my voltage that is my two, uh, sorry this is my impedance that is my 2 plus j ohm whatever it comes right so same thing is written here 50 uh, angle 45 degree this 3 plus 2 so 5 plus j 10 so this is 5 plus j 10 into 2 plus j 10 into 2 plus j 10 this is my v thibnin right so let me clear it so this is my v thibnin we got 45.6 angle 60.3 degree now z thibnin is equal to when 
this one is not there when this one uh, this point this is open z thin it means you have to short this the way you do the dc circuit it is shorted right so it will be 3 ohm and 2 plus j 2 means parallel so it will be 3 into 2 plus j 10 right divided by 3 plus 2 plus j 10 right so this is my your this is my z thin right so if you find out z thin so this will be my your what you call z thin in 2.64 plus j 0 0.78 ohm then then the equivalent circuit is this is v thin 45.6 angle 60.3 degree and this is my z thin 2.64 plus j 7.2 and both variable rl is also variable xc is also variable so for maximum power if both are variable so for maximum power transfer we know z l is equal to z thin in this case conjugate because this is z thin so it is conjugate so it will be 2.64 minus j 7.2 ohm but, but x c is adjustable between 2 ohm and 8 ohm hence the closest value of x c is 2 ohm right because we got actually what you call it is 0 0.72 but x c is only variable between 2 and 8 ohm so closest value is 2 ohm only because it is 0 0.72 so closest value is 2 ohm so x c is taken as 2 ohm right therefore uh, right therefore r l is equal to mod z g minus j x c we have already done it you for that uh, max uh, when r l and x l are variable so in this case it will be 2.64 plus j 7.2 minus j x c is equal to taken 2 ohm right so that means my r l will become 2.93 ohm therefore z t will become z thibnin plus z l z thibnin is this one this 2.64 plus j 0 0.72 and z your z l will become 2.93 minus j 2 because some range is given here you got something here you got something but closest value is 2 because x is in between 2 and 8 right therefore your what you call that you calculate i now z t you got this value you got this value then you get i for this this one your v thibnin by your z t you will get 8 angle 73.3 degree ampere and power is equal to your i square into 2.93 that is 187.5 watt. Thank you very much. We will be back again.